how he trumped you, gin rummy, too, doesn't he? Yeah, well, you know the saying. I'm lucky at cards, lucky at love. Oh, thank you. Oh, don't thank me for being lucky at love. Thank my mother for having me. Oh, so she's the one that got me into all this trouble, huh? <laughs> okay, okay, Gillis. Okay, already. Stop running up the electric bill. Greetings, one and all. Hello. Hey, where's Honeybee? Ah, the storm of strife will be right over. Help me with these chairs. Yeah. He's giving my boy Egg Boy the bath. Egg he's 13. He's a big boy. Yeah, you should see the way he fights back. <laughs> There we are. Now, the first thing about playing tonight, hey, don't start yet. I'm expecting Hal Slovin over any minute. Slovin, the kids in the plant? Yeah. Yeah, Roddy's phoning them to come over. You know, I didn't want to say anything at work, but the foreman says he's going to fire him if he don't wake up on the job. Yeah, lately he's been acting kind of dopey. Nice kid, too. Yeah, but he's a black eye on our department. He's liable to cost us our efficiency bonus this month. What's the matter? Is he in some kind of trouble or something? Well, he's married. No, she means other kind of stuff. Oh. All he said was that his wife ain't feeling good. Oh, that's too bad. I wonder what's the matter with him. Oh. Now, let me do all the talking. All right, dear. Oh, hi. Oh, hello, honeybee. That's fine. <coughs> James Gillis, you've got to do something about that son of yours. He's getting very ugly. He don't favor me none. <laughs> <laughs> well, from now on, you baby. Why? He hit me with a big cake of soap. Next time you use soap chips. Ha! Huh. <laughs> now, kids, to play canasta. Yeah? Oh, maybe that's Hal now. Who? Some kid from the plant. Sit down, oh. honey, big. Hiya, hello, pal. Hello, Mr. Riley. Come on in. Good evening. How do you do? Oh, this is Mrs. Riley, my wife. How do you do? How do you do? And this is Mrs. Gillis. How do you do, Mrs. Gillis? That's fine. Hi, Hal. Hi. I hope I haven't broken up your evening. I see you have company. Oh, they ain't company. They're here all the time. They like the free food. Little <laughs> <laughs> dream. Always oh, kidding. Come on and sit down. <laughs> I am a little hungry. Well, we'll have cake after the game. <laughs> <laughs> Say, tell me something, Hal. What's been bothering you this past week? Well, I, uh, I, uh... Oh, uh, honeybee and I'll go in the other room. You men can talk. Oh, please don't. Maybe you can give me some advice, Mrs. Riley. Oh? Sure, we're all great friends, except Honeybee and me. <laughs> well, I know I've been doing an awfully bad job at the plant. Yeah, but that's only been lately. You know, you've been a little absent-minded. You've been acting like a nervous wretch. <laughs> what is it about your wife ain't feeling good? I could make any young man nervous. Is it serious? My Uncle Perenz is a doctor. Yes, ma'am, it's, it's very serious. Oh. I, um, we... Well, that is she. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're going to have what you call a new addition to our family. A baby! Oh, that's nice. A baby? That's great, Hal. <laughs> is that all? There's nothing to that. I had my egg burnt on a Tuesday, and Thursday I was scrubbing floors. <laughs> now she's scrubbing egg white. <laughs> Gee, Hal, you had me worried. Being a father is great. Believe me, I know. I'm a two-time winner. Here. Here's a picture of our kids. Oh, you have a great family, Mr. Riley. This is your first, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. And it's all new to me. <laughs> it's all new to him, too. Oh, Riley. What makes you think it'll be a boy? Why, Hal's first son has got to be a boy. Our first son was a boy. I wish I could do more for Alice. That's my wife. She ought to have the best of everything. But I don't know. Gosh. Having a baby makes a fellow think, doesn't it? You'll get used to the idea. Well, what I mean is, how are we going to find a house with an extra room? Well, how I get along on my salary? <laughs> you talk like no one ever had a baby before in their family. It's been going on for years. And it'll still keep going on, too. Why, if there weren't any babies a hundred years from now, there'd be no people. And if there weren't any people, what's the sense of living? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't help worrying about Alice. That's why I can't keep my mind on my job. At a time like this, your wife needs you to be cheerful around her. Yeah, you know, you got to kid around and be happy and, and don't let her worry. you got to be a pillow of strength. Right, Peg? Oh, Riley, like you were when our first baby was born? Yeah, like you was. <laughs> Never mind the sour test, and if pals like me, it'll be okay. I'm thirsty. Oh. oh, all right, I'll go down the corner. Hey, hurry up, I'm thirsty, too. All right, all right. Gee, I wish I had the right outlook like Mr. Riley. Hmm. 
fine outlook he had. Remember, Peggy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it would cheer you up to hear how Riley behaved when we were expecting our first baby. We was all back in Brooklyn. Ah, then what a hungry taste. Yeah, you had hair then. <laughs> I'll never forget the night I broke the news to him. You see, our doctor was dear old Dr. Beamish. He had a little hospital, and he hardly charged anything. He was such a sweet man. I remember one day when I was in his office. Well, Mrs. Riley, everything's coming along fine. In my opinion, you might have that bassinet ready for a little visitor about, uh, old about mid-April. Oh, my. I wish we could afford a lovely nursery and a real bassinet and everything. Oh, my dear, I don't think your baby's going to worry very much about the cost of its crib. Why, one of the happiest babies I ever saw lived in a well-lined laundry basket. How does your husband feel about the baby? Excited, I bet. Well, I haven't told him yet. You haven't? Why, you've known for quite a while. Yeah, I'm just wondering how to break it to him. Oh, I see. The other evening, I went to see a moving picture. Fine story. With stories like this, I predict the cinema's here to stay. Well, in this story, the wife showed her husband a pair of little booties. At once, he took her in his arms. It was a beautiful moment. Oh, that's a nice idea. I'll try that. Fine. And about your appetite. Now, don't worry. Perfectly natural. Perfectly natural. All right. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye. Bye. Who is it? It's me, Honeybee. Just a second. Hello, Honeybee. Just fine. Oh, do we have a rush at the store today? Yeah. Oh, my dogs are killing me. Oh. oh. Guys, it's stuffy down in this horrible basement. <laughs> oh, I sure wish you and Riley didn't have to be the janitor. Well, we get this place to live. You can call it living. What's that? Somebody wants some more heat. I'm used to it by now. Now tell me, darling, what did the doctor say? He said I could expect it the middle of April. The middle of... April, he's right, didn't I tell you? My goodness, you're a lousy knitter. Oh, did you tell your hubby yet? No, I think I'll tell him when he comes home from work. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I wish Jimsy and me were going to have a baby. Yeah, it's wonderful, only... Only what? Oh, he's kind of tough on the baby, having to grow up in a cellar. Well, this is kind of a dump, but you may as well face it. When you married Riley, you didn't get no merchant prince. <laughs> Well, things won't always be like this. Someday the depression will be over and then Chester will get a break. I shut up! <laughs> yeah, I'm home. I'm home, too. He's home. We're home. How are you, darling? Gosh, Templin, you're beautiful. Why don't you say those kind of things to me? Why don't you look like her? <laughs> well, I guess I better get supper going. Come in, Jimsy. I'll be right up. See you later, kid. Okay, we'll come up to the sidewalk after. <laughs> hey, Riley, you said I could borrow a loan of the uniform. Yeah, go ahead. It's in the closet. Look around in there. Okay, I'll try it on. <laughs> well, I brought everything. Everything? Yeah, I got the rolls, and I got the pickles, and the licorice whip. <laughs> I couldn't get the strawberries. Well, I could have got them, but they were two dollars a box. Oh, well, that's nice of you, darling. But you know, right now, I sort of like some peanut brittle. What's the matter with your appetite, Lake? <laughs> you want the craziest things to eat. Uh, Chester, dear, I have something to tell you. And I wish you'd sit down and listen. I can take it standing up. It's about the gas bill. Tell them to wait till next time, like they did the last time. It, it's not that. It's, uh, it's something real nice. Oh, good. Well, tell me fast. I want to eat. I'm hungry. Well, um, uh, what is it that every young couple wants most? More money, more happiness, less relatives. No, listen. If they've got everything else in the world, what is the one thing that holds them together in later life? The law. Oh, you're being subtle with you. Here. Here's something I've been knitting. A mitten. That's what I need. It's a booty. It is pretty. Not a beauty, a booty. Well, I guess I better tell you. 
We're going to have an addition to our home. Oh, don't be silly, Peg. We can't even pay the rent for this joint. Why should the landlord build us a dining room? <laughs> There's a little stranger coming to our house. Oh. So that's what you mean. Well, I don't want that sort off front of an uncle of yours moving in here with us. Oh, it's not an uncle. It's a little... Peggy. Peggy. You don't mean it's going to be her own little stranger. Yes, Chester. And how clever of you to guess it. Oh, gosh. Hey, how does it fit, huh? What are we standing here for gabbing? Come on, let's get going. Go in the closet and get your coat. I'll get an ambulance and take you right to the hospital. Hey, she's sick? It's not till April. Oh. Oh, April. Well, then we have time to go by the trolley. <laughs> hey. What's all this about? <laughs> are you really glad, darling? Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm going to be a father. A father? You? Are you going to be a mother? Congrats. Gee, that's swell. I can't understand why he's so late. Well, I know. He was over in the corner talking to the boss. Did he get a raise? Because if he did, you're hitting him up for one tomorrow. We need more money now, too. Honeybee, you? You ain't expecting. Darling. Yeah, we're expecting a radio. I ordered it today. <laughs> Hiya, Douglas. Oh. You're so late, darling. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hi. Did you get the raise? Yeah, did you, dear? Yeah, sure, I got it. You're marching in tomorrow, you coward. Oh, Chester, I'm proud of you. You must have really talked up to that grind. Yeah, I sure did. How much did he raise you? Ten dollars a week. Ten a week? Oh, that's twenty-six dollars for rich. Oh. Dumpling, you shouldn't get excited in your condition. Besides, it's not exactly twenty-six a week. Can't you count? You were getting 16. Yes, dear. Yeah, but that was before I was fired. Fired? No, oh, but I forced him to take me back. Don't worry. Only I got to cooperate on account of him taking me back. You see, uh, the $10 he's paying me now is sort of a raise, you might say. And, you know, alongside of the nothing I would have got if I stayed fired. <laughs> well, uh, we'll be seeing you. $10 a week? Oh, Chester, is that all you're getting, now? Here, Temple. I guess I'm a failure to my son. Oh, no, don't you say that. No. Don't you worry, darling. It, 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 it'll work out somehow. I gotta get some night work. Yeah, but when would you sleep? And the guy's gonna figure out how to feed three people pretty soon and send the son to college on ten dollars. He can't think of sleep. said you're fired. You bent two nails yesterday. <laughs> Riley and company can't afford that waste. <laughs> Apples. Anybody please buy an apple for five cents? Wake up, Chester. I have. Chester, wake up here. Wake up. Huh? What do you want? I think we better get a taxi, dear. What do you want a taxi for? I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> we have to get a... We have to go to the hospital, dear. Wake up. The hospital? What? We have to go to the hospital. Ah! Hey, hey, you Get Get excited. Time. The baby. Hurry. Put your coat on. Get ready. I'll get a taxi. We'll go <laughs> right to the hospital. Taxi, I'm having a baby. Taxi. Step on it. Step on it. Yes, sir. Faster. You've got to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Go a little faster. i got to get to that hospital. Somebody hurt bad in the hospital? No, my wife is having a baby. <laughs> Holy smoke! Turn around and go back. I forgot my way. <laughs> Hi, 
Are you okay, lady? Here's the hospital. Yeah, I'm fine, driver, but can you help me get my husband out of the cab? Sure. <laughs> be brave. Take my arm here. I got his feet, lady. Just put him down. I'll make him walk. Now, be okay. brave, Peg. Yeah. Whoop, back up. What did I do with my leg? <laughs> You'll find be here. Brave. What's all this? This is my husband, Dr. Amy. Oh, the poor fellow. Well, the first six is the hardest. Yeah. Be brave now, Peg. What do I owe you, driver? Not a thing, little girl. Good luck. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Riley, how are you feeling now? Sleepy, Doctor. When will I... Well, I have some wonderful news for you. You're the mother of a fine baby. About four hours old, a fine baby girl. A girl? Oh, better not be around when my husband finds out. He hates to be double-crossed. <laughs> my husband, can I see him? Not now, I'm afraid. I just gave him a sedative. He's resting. <laughs> Don't you worry about him. We'll pull him through. I've never lost a father yet. <laughs> Poor Riley. We call our daughter Barbara. Dad, for short. She's just 16. Gee, I hope I have your luck. Let's play canasta. I can't make any money this way. <laughs> ah, them were the days. I had hair then, enough for two heads. Yeah, now you got two heads. <laughs> well, I sure won't let Alice down. This has been a lesson to me. Well, you just keep your mind on your job, and your wife will take care of hers. Well, I got the drink. Now, kids, to play canasta. <laughs> you took long enough. I told Hal the whole story of the night Babs was born. There you go, Peg, boasting about me again. <laughs> yeah, you were terrific. <laughs> Hello? Who? Yeah, he's here. Oh, it's the hospital. Alice, how is she? How does she feel? She feels fine. No kidding. How? You're a father. I'm a father. What is it, a boy or a girl? What is it, a boy or a girl? It's a them. <laughs> it's a them, yeah. <laughs> 